The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the October 8th, the terrific Tuesday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day, and let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I, when you and I, uh, boy, oh boy, I'm sorry, I was multitasking, but when you and I can make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find a gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Today, we're going to go check out the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here, but more important than that, and that's this. During this next 53 minutes, I am here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on at 877-927-6648. Now, if you've got a question but you can't call in, Stevie has got your back. Send me an email. Send it off to steve at tfnn.com. Send it off early if you can. And please put radio show question in that subject heading. Of course, if you're inside our Tiger's Devil, then any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started. A terrific Tuesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. We have mostly a sea of green out here. you got the Dow up 42, S&P's up 44, NASDAQ's 253, Russell's up 5, Semi 67, Trendy's up 113. It's New York Stock Exchange down 22 bucks. I think heavily weighted in um, both uh, maybe both the oil and the metals out there. And both of those are cruising to the downside. Gold is off 33 bucks, one and a quarter percent. Silver's down a buck forty. That's near four point four percent. Natural gas off two pennies. Lights recruit off three fifty five. A four point six percent move to the downside there. If we take a look at our leaders in the clubhouse to the upside, it is Bank of Montreal of twenty one bucks five percent. Service now twenty bucks two percent. Eli Lilly eighteen bucks two percent. Synopsis up about eighteen bucks three and a point six percent. Netflix up sixteen bucks. That's a two and a half percent move. Our shakers to the downside, led by Food Two Holdings off twenty bucks fifteen percent. Uh. Marathon Petroleum, 15 bucks. Caterpillar, 10 bucks. PDD Holdings is off $8 out there. So we got movers and we've got shakers. Let's begin our day by taking a look at New York Stock Exchange Advanced Client Asset. We've got to get down towards that oversold level. Where we're down towards, but we're not at it. So it's below the uh, zero threshold level. It just simply tells us that the uh, sellers are the ones that are in control of the market. Spot fix index is trading above its 50 day exponential moving average, which is at 1775. That tells us that sellers also have the edge. They have the edge, but what they did yesterday was they generated that one day rate of change above plus. 10%. That's the bottom panel of the screen. Yesterday's rate of change was 17.86%. We get a one-day rate of change about plus 10%. Those are the blue arrows on the screen out here. We typically get a bounce or a bottom in the market. Well, we most certainly have. If we take a look at what else do we need to look at here? I don't think anything off the top of my head out here. What we look for, I'm going to go ahead and change charts. And I've shared this with everybody, you know, as many times as we get rates of change above plus 10%, which is to look at how do you identify whether whether that bounce has really started or not. So let me change screens out there. One of the best patterns is the Rhodes Bentham Indicator signal. I can, oh, here we go. One second. Sorry about that. Okay, so one of the best patterns I have found, well, first of all, uh, the, the best patterns typically form on the 30-minute time frame chart. Uh, the best patterns are when we get those roads meant to indicator signals. Why, why are those the best signals? That is a situation where just picture yourself in a pool, picture you've got that round ball and you're pushing it down with your feet, and how long can you actually stay down there? Or maybe you've got this amazing balance and you can, but what happens when you just let it go from your feet? It comes cruising out of that water. Well, that's the same thing, in essence, that the Rhodes Bentham indicator signal is doing. So each of those formed a bottom signal. So we had, had the big, nice hammer candle that formed at 7 o'clock last night. 
I was just uh, happy because I'd gotten back from Naples. I was able to get a newsletter out in the evening for uh, for uh, subscribers, and it was just before seven, so they were aware of the uh, pattern that was out there. If you take a look at the NQ, the NQ actually formed a TD nine count bottom. It did that at four o'clock. That never failed out there. You can see right now we're trading above the real target, which was the TD nine count breakdown resistance level for both the ES and the NQ. The Dow also forming a hammer candle last night at uh, seven o'clock. Of course, that's led to a rally, and the uh, Russell 2000 at 3.30 formed a Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom with that bullish piercing candle out there. So that's what's going on short term. Uh, that portion of the trade is, in my opinion, is basically over. We've attained the uh, targets. That doesn't mean that we can't move higher out there, but the reason to have gotten into that trade, basically off that 30-minute chart, is come to an end. Let's go take a look at what is going on, though. We'll get over to a different set of charts. This, Well, let's take a look at this set of charts here. Here's the daily equity future contract. If you were to pin me down and ask me what is going on inside these markets, I would tell you that we have a consolidation. If you take a look at the ES Mini, and the consolidation extends beyond the bottom of the profile, extends just slightly above the top of the profile for the ES Mini, but you too can draw this pattern on your charts. That's the pattern that we're training, that we are trading in. Now, if the, um, the rally for the most part could be over, when we took a look at the 30 minute time frame, the 30 minute time frame charts, when we look at the daily, we can see price has gotten up to that daily oscillator and change line. The print on that as we speak right now is up at the 5792 level. The price closes above 5792, we'll probably get up to the top of the consolidation. Same pattern is going on inside the NQ. You can see the sideways consolidation pattern. The same thing in the Dow. Don't have that consolidation pattern really inside the Russell 2000 out here but the top three most certainly do now they've got a consolidation pattern if we take a look at what happens during the presidential cycle out here i believe i've got that still up on my screen i do that is the shaded in area this is the month of october that we are looking at where my cursor is at and what you can see here is what you can see a sideways consolidation so more likely than not what happens is we get this consolidation. I think actually I took this as not no, uh, October 31st out here. I mentioned to somebody in the den when I posted this that it was the 31st. That actually takes us out to Election Day. So the very right-hand side out there. So that's the seasonal patterns of the presidential cycle for the S&P 500, the daily equity future contracts, and their consolidation patterns. Now let's go ahead and take a look at, let me close this down too. I just want to free up resources. I've got a number of things that are open here this morning. So let's close this down. And let's go take a look at some intraday charts out here. Since we've got another minute before we go to a break, that's not this set of charts, but it's going to be this next one that pops up. So we've got the ES Mini. So as we take a look at, uh, if you take a look at a 15-minute time frame chart and the 60, you both have a TD9 count patterns. So on the 15-minute chart, uh, this pattern is going to go ahead and confirm in one minute. Uh, complete that pattern at 11.30. That suggests a retracement back to about the 57.80 level. If price gets below 57.80, we could be looking to move anywhere between 57.64 to 57.69. Uh, the 60-minute time frame chart doesn't complete bar 9 until 12 noon. The pattern could complete with a bar uh, bar following bar number 9 high out there. That I don't know, but what should uh, unfold out here, especially with that 60-minute time frame chart, oscillator and change line changing colors, we should see a pullback to the 57.65 level. Steve Rhodes with TFN. We come back from this break. I'll get my act together. There's a number of requests that have come in and we'll most certainly start on those. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. 
And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Stevie's calling on Audible here. There's a number of requests to take, like at the GLD, the SLV, and so forth. And so what I'm going to do is actually, first I'll go through the gold charts, silver charts, light speed crudes, and they're the ones that are having the biggest move. And we can try to identify where some possible support levels are. So here's the uh, eight panel chart for uh, gold. You got the monthly chart over in the left hand side, uh, bullish mode out there. So where we're at right now is we're, we're testing a key level of support. That's on the weekly time frame chart, and that is the oscillator and change line. The actual print on the oscillator and change line out here is at 2632. We can see how that is test has been tested. Now, it's a weekly chart. If we close below this on Tuesday, what does it mean? And the answer is, well, it's not a great thing, but we really need to know at day's end. But nonetheless, price right now, with regard to Goldilocks, is sitting back at a level of support. If price closes below uh, the oscillator and change line, again, a 20... 632 out there, odds would favor lower price. Now, when we're at a level of support, in this case here on a weekly chart, we typically look for uh, some type of bottoming signal on a daily time frame. Well, we don't have that. All we have there is a Rhodesman Dominicator top and a TD9 count top. And that tells us support is down to 25.99. So I would say if this 26.32 level fails, that the next possible target is 25.99 below that 25.38. Now what we don't see on any of the intraday charts out here is any kind of a bottom signal. Nothing on the 30, nothing on the 60, the 120, the 240, the five-hour time frame chart. Now the five-hour time frame chart is in bar number seven, but that says that you know that 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 would take until. Uh, you know, sometime early in the morning. By the way, I don't believe that we are doing programming tomorrow because of the hurricane. I'm almost certain of that out there. So everybody listening in Florida, you know, obviously batten down, and be safe out there. This is a dangerous one, or so it uh, seems at this moment in time. So that's what's going on with gold. Right now, what we've identified here is really the key level of support is the weekly oscillator and change line. And it closed below that 2632. Odds favor move to 2599 or 2538. So those are the levels to be watching. Even if you're trading GLD, those are still the levels to be watching or what we just took a look at. We will take a look at the GLD charts. But what I'll first do is go take a look at uh, silver.
and that will take a look at light sweep crude. Uh, so when I close out a chart, it just automatically defaults back to the first chart that I have that's open out there, and that's with those currency pairs. So when we take a look at silver out here. Uh, silver is trading below its oscillator and change line as we speak. That's up at 31.26. We're at 30.62. So on a weekly basis, support is at 30.20. But on a daily basis, price is testing support right now, and that's the bottom of its profile, 30.63. Uh, if price closed below 30.63, odds favor move back to first would be 3021 that we'd look at second would be 2885 out there if we look at the intraday charts the 240 minute time frame chart is in the bar following bar number nine that's the good news the bad news is the 120 minute chart is negating a td9 count bottom pattern nonetheless if we take a look at this time frame this is the four hour time frame the current bar that we're in is going to complete at 2 p.m so this says that by 2 p.m we could see a uh, a uh, bottoming uh, pattern, at least short term, maybe more than that, but at least short term inside of uh, silver out there. It's also trading into another TD9 count bottom on the four hour time frame that took place on September 18th out there. And that was at the 5 uh, p.m. Time frame out here. So that's what's going on with regard to silver. Let's uh, let me close this out. I know the other chart's going to pop up, but this way it frees up resources. And now we're going to go take a look at the light sweet crude charts out there. Uh, that's not what popped up just yet, but give me a moment. And we will get there. And so we take a look at light speed crude. Uh, you've got the monthly chart on the uh, left-hand side. You can see we've been trading in a sideways consolidation for quite a while out there. If we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, we know that price found support at 66.13. That was its TD9 count breakout level. You can't bust them down. Price tries to bust them up. Well, it did that uh, this week as it tried to get through that 76.17 level. That is the top of its weekly profile. If we take a look at the daily time frame, November contract shows an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. We can see we've got a big old key reversal bearish engulfing candle its next level of support in the daily time frame would be between 7115 to 7193 by the way on the weekly time frame support could be at about the 7243 level if we look for intraday bottoming signals out here the five hour time frame chart which has a road momentum indicator top is testing an area of support which is the bottom of its profile 7310 i believe 7310 is the next key area for us to watch inside of uh, silver your price closes below Below that we continue to head lower so I don't have any bottoming patterns out here but you get back to a level of support that in fact can be a bottom now the two hour chart is in bar number eight this two hour bar is going to close at 12 noon so you could also get a light speed crude two hour TD nine out bottom between 12 noon and uh, we're really going about four o'clock really that would be the the time frame the time window that we would be looking at so that's what's going on we take a look at light sweet crude out there now let's go take a look at those requests that came in uh, my apology they weren't in the same order as uh, as they came in but we're going to get to all of them anyways so that shouldn't be too much of a problem so the first one came in from uh, dan inside our tiger's den and would like to take a look at ticker symbol cmg out there cmg that's chipotle if i'm not mistaken and so we take a look at uh, CMG. It is consolidating right now in between its profile levels. Profile levels out here on the daily time frame. Uh, bottom is at 57.25 and resists at 58.56. Do we have any kind of a top out here? Um, it, well, let's find out for sure. Let me uh, let me draw in. It doesn't look like the A to B equals CD pattern has been completed. It does have such a pattern out there. There's our A point. Here's our B point. We just simply move this over to that uh, C point. Yeah, we're nowhere close to finishing that A to B equals CD uh, pattern out there. None, so I don't have a top per se. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I don't have a top per se, but what we do have is price trading with inside its profile, Dan, between 57.25 and 58.56 out there on the weekly time frame. And this may be really where Chipotle is running into your real resistance level. And that's up at the 58.62 level, the top of its weekly profile. Uh, the monthly time frame, we've got a consolidation with inside its profile as well. Right now, it's dealing with the resistance of its oscillator and change on a 58.46. Dan, if price can close about 58.46, really 58.56, right, because it's top of the daily profile. Then you should make a run for that. Uh, well, actually, I really think we have to call it 58.62. 
He got it close about 58.62, started trade about 58.62 to get us up to the 61, 68, 64, 21 level out there. So I hope that helped you out with regard to uh, Chipotle. Thanks so much for getting things kicked off. Uh, Jimmy uh, chimed in, and Jimmy wanted to take like a ticker symbol GLD. So we looked at the uh, gold contract, and I think that's going to assist us more than taking a look at the GLD. But if we do take a look at the GLD, for example, uh, gold right now is nowhere near the bottom of its profile. The bottom of its daily profile was at 25 99. Well, if we take a look at the GLD, we can see we're at the bottom of the profile right now. So I would say if we close below uh, the bottom of its GLD profile, which is at the 241.34 level, I would say we have a profile change in trend. But Steve would say not so fast. That real change in trend has to come from the gold chart because that's the underlying instrument out there. If we take a look at GLD, I believe gold was sitting at its oscillator and change line. So, too, with regard to the GLD, this would suggest that if price were to close below its oscillator and change line, again, more so on Friday than today, 241.46, that would suggest a run back to 234.01. Yeah, I'm going to do call a banker. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's on there. I just I got out of order out there. And uh, sorry about that. I was just doing too many things. In any event, folks, we are going to a uh, break. Uh, I don't see anything else out here, Jimmy, with regard to the GLD that I can uh, share with you. So I hope that that helped you. We come back for this break. We're going to look at silver, then Colwell Banker, the TLT, and anything else that someone would like. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They think it's too volatile and risky. Most people aren't going to take the time to educate themselves on how to do it right. But you're not most people, are you? At TFNN, you'll get the guidance you need to refine your strategies and techniques to invest like a pro. Because you'll be a pro. All TFNN subscriptions, books, software, and courses are available at TFNN.com. And I'm even going to tell you how to get them for less. Use TFNN's Tiger Dollars and you'll get up to a 20% bonus on your purchase. And once you apply them to your account, Tiger Dollars are automatically used for all future or recurring charges. Tiger Dollars also never expire, are fully transferable, and are a great way to add savings to your newsletters or services. Become the investor you were born to be at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels, you'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns, you'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry October 11th and 25th for more live trading action. Your purchase goes towards two sessions, so make sure to sign up now so you don't miss a chance to sit next to Larry as he trades the market live. For all information and to reserve your spot today, go to the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Trader's Edge is brought to you by Direction's Daily Leveraged and Inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. 
They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Welcome back, uh, folks. We're taking a look at the chart here for the SLV. Remember, we looked at silver. The daily profile support level was at 3062. I believe we're printing at about 3047 um, right now. Uh, the profile support level for SLV was at 2780. We're at 2758. So SLV, if we were not paying attention to the underlying instrument, would tell us we're likely headed to 2480. If we look at the weekly time frame chart, uh, if we get a bearish reversal candle at week's end, we have one on Tuesday. I don't know what it's going to be like on Friday. You'd have a confirmed roads momentum indicator top. We're trading below its oscillator and chain sign. That would suggest price would target the buy zone to 2444 to 2558. And the monthly time frame chart, which does not have a topping pattern, uh, found resistance at the top of its profile at 29.56. Its price target to the downside or support, I should say, would be at about 25.87. So that's what I see when I take uh, the SLV charts, uh, Jimmy. And as always, thanks so much for your request. Uh, Dan, thanks for waiting on Caldwell Banker. CBRE is the uh, ticker symbol out here. We take a look at it. This is tradable. Let me pull this back a bit. So I can see a Roachman indicator top. We can see that price is trading below its profile. This morning's rally found resistance at the bottom of the profile, 121.76. So, Dan, I would say that if price remains below 121.76, today's high could have been the C point, could, could be the C point of an A to B equal CD to the downside. What happens if price gets back inside the profile? Well, then what I would say is that the uh, weekly time frame chart, the retracement found support right at its oscillator and change line. And then I would say as long as that support level is held and if price closed above 121.76, then price would likely get to 123.14. So I believe 121.76 is your real important level. And the reason is when we take a call all banker, yes, it's got a daily top, but it does not, well, let me take this, let me, let me open up this chart. Maybe there's an A to B equals CD pattern that I have overlooked out here because I didn't look. Yeah, so I see a sell the D point top out there. If you're looking for the A to B line, it would run like this. If you give me a moment. So we'll draw this here. I'm not worried about being dead balls accurate. There's your A to B line. We'll just simply move this over to the C point out here so that I can grab this thing. Come on. There we go. And that would be right here where it says letter B. And so we can see that uh, last week we had a sell the D point top. So with regard to call a banker, watch 11848-ish. I know you you also have an oscillator and change line, I believe. So you want to watch that weekly oscillator and change line. That is green. That is held. All of its work to the downside, in essence, has been done. But we can't really make that statement on Tuesday at 1130, can we? We really need to make that statement at uh, 4 p.m. on Friday out there. But the, uh, watch, so watch 12176. And the 118.48 levels. Those are what you're looking for because the uh, monthly time frame chart does not have a topping signal out there. Uh, is there anything else that I can provide you? Well, this is day number three to the downside for Caldwell Banker. Um, this has had been in quite a bullish run. What this also shows us is that three bar moves to the downside have led to rallies. One the three bar move was on August the 5th. Another one was on September the 6th. We did have a four bar move and that was on August 29th out there. So you had three bar yesterday. Uh, this should give you a should give you a two day rally, a one or two day rally. Again, the, the I would say the defining aspect of that could easily be that 121.76 level out there. Real quickly here, what happens if I look at a 30 minute time frame chart? Let's just see if we see any kind of signals out here. So that is just simply suggesting perhaps a run up to 122.89 out there. So that's about all that I've got for Caldwell Banker. Dan, I hope that that helps you out, and best of luck uh, on the uh, trade that you're in there. Uh, Dan wants to take a look at, from New York, that is, would like to take a look at, uh, and you're welcome, would like to take a look at the uh, TLT. So here is the TLT charts. On the TLT charts, you'll see an A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. It would need a bullish reversal candle to confirm a Gartley buy pattern. Weekly chart is below profile support. Below its oscillator and change line is suggesting a further retracement. 
The monthly time frame chart is now back inside its profile at 95.65. No idea where it ends the month, but as long as price is below that, that is suggesting lower price. Now that's the TLT. We did have four bars to the downside uh, out here today, maybe bar number five to the downside. But let's do this here. Let's go take a look at that 30 year treasury out here. Let's go try to figure out what it is indicating to you and I. Now it has that same A to B equals CD pattern to the downside for the daily time frame, And so it is waiting for some type of bullish reversal candle to confirm a bottom. So we at least know that. There is no bottom signal. We've negated, or we are in bar number five of a TD9 count. Maybe this forms some type of TD9 count bottom, and it does that. So this is bar number five. Uh, you could get bar number eight on Friday, so be confirmed perhaps on a Monday or Tuesday out there. So uh, you were trading below weekly profile support. Uh, we're trading below last month's low out here. Looks to me like the 30-year treasury wants to continue to move lower out there. And I would say that the TLT would do the same thing. So I hope that helps you out. We're also in bar number five to the downside inside of the TLT. If we just simply, I'm sorry, inside the 30-year treasury out there. We did have a bar number five move down here on August the 30th. And that led to quite a rally out there. But I don't see that rally, at least at this moment in time. Let me, well, let's do this here. Say I don't see it, but let's put up the charts and see what we do see. So let's pull over this 30-minute time frame chart. What do we see here? We see a uh, not much. What we do see, though, is price is traded above the top of its profile. Top of its profile out here, excuse me, is at uh, 121.05, 121.05. And we're printing at 121.05. As long as we remain above 121.05, you can easily get a move to 121.20. That's on the 30-minute time frame chart. Let's check a 60-minute time frame chart, see if there's any signals there. You've got a rose momentum indicator bottom that is now. Don't pay attention to the oscillator and change on. That's actually right now for a 30-minute time frame out here. But what price is like, well, let's put this on a 65-minute time frame. Because that could be resistance. So let's see if we're trading up into it. Uh, Set so in change line. Let's change this to 65 instead of 30. And nope. So that is uh, that's good. So this is suggesting right now you should see a little bit of a rally inside the 30 year. I would say that rally would take us up towards the first the first resistance point on a 60 minute time frame chart is about the 121 14 level out there. So that's what I see with regard to the 30 year treasury. And then you can kind of convert that over to what's going on inside of the TLT. The uh, next request that I have comes from Jambalaya inside the Tiger's Den. And it was ticker symbol EVGO. Now you reminded me that we should come take a look at this this week. And the question is why? Why did I say that? Um, because the only pattern that I see that formed out here was on uh, October 3rd, so about four days ago, when it generated a Rhodes Mentum indicator signal out there. You can see that what I can share with you, though, today is that there is a brand new profile. And that bro brand new profile is a bearish structured profile. It's quite wide, uh, quite frankly. The sell zone, which it's in right now, is between 653 and 691. So no topping signal. But when you do close, and should this close below the center of its uh, daily profile out there, price should be able to push its way back to the next level of support. That's at 555. Look, folks, we're going into a breakout here. We come back from this break. We'll finish taking a look at EVGO for Jambalaya inside our Tiger's Den. We'll be right back. spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits.
In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, though, folks. We're taking a look at ticker symbol EVGO. This is for uh, Jambalaya inside our Tiger's Den. And uh, so we talked about that new daily profile. So watch that 653 level. Uh, bearish in structure. If you close below that, odds favor, move back to the oscillator and change line. Currently printed at 555. I don't have any kind of a topping pattern. There's need to be equal CD to the upside on a weekly time frame. And that says if you were to get a weekly bearish reversal candle, and that seems hard to do, but it's possible. Um, that that would then generate a uh, generate a a, uh, a sell the D point top. Now, what you like about uh, price where it's at right now is if you look at the monthly time frame chart, price is taking on its TD nine count breakdown resistance level. That's at six forty eight. So that is a key area out here. If price remains above it, you know that's that's very positive. Uh, so no topping signals on the daily, on the weekly. Or the monthly, but the daily does have new a uh, new profile out there, and uh, so pay attention to uh, I'd say 691. If price closes above that, we get back to its recent high from a few days ago. If it closes below 653, odds favor move back towards that 555 ish level. So hope that helps you out. You had another request out here, nail. Uh, so let's take a look at it. N A I L. Let's put that up on our screen. Give me a moment. For this to populate, so um, yeah, it looks like we may somewhat luck out on the East Coast uh, with this store, uh, the Southeast Coast out there. Uh, but you know, we still have a few days before we really know whether this, you know, which what the exact track is on this storm. So we may pretty lucky, be pretty lucky. But you know, all of our friends up in the mid Central Florida, uh, you know, the uh, West Central Florida, Tampa, that whole area out there, man, that is. Uh, you know, I, so I've been in I've been in Florida for 41 years, so I've been through a lot of hurricanes. The one thing you like about a hurricane is that you can plan ahead of time. What you hate about the hurricane is being any you know in being any version of its path out there. But the nail charts are back up here, so I won't uh, bloviate. But if we take a look at nail, N A I L is a ticker symbol out here. Now this is an ETF for something. I'm assuming it's home builders or something along those lines. Uh, what I have here is a TD nine count top. An A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. It's attained its one-to-one -one level. I can visually see that. But we don't have a bullish reversal candle. Um, right now, what price is doing, if, if, if the move in nail is just a counter trend move, 
Well, first, this is uh, the where price would find resistance is between the levels of 163.22. That would be at the high and 160.05. So that would be the so-called sell zone. If price were to close above 163.22, uh, Jam, then you would uh, you get a move up towards the 171.15 level. On a weekly time frame, I do not have any kind of top that I see out here. Price is above its oscillator and change line. That's indication that we should see a further rally. So watch that daily profile area. On a monthly time frame chart, I do not see any kind of a topping signal. This suggests that price should move higher here as well. So I hope that helped you out with regard to NAO. And you also would like to take a look at um, uh, URA, uranium out here. So we take a look at URA. We'll get that fired back up. So I was over in, in uh, Naples uh, yesterday. Take care of some hurricane uh, things. And, uh, of course, I always fill up, you know, over on my end of town before I head down Alligator Alley out there. And uh, and I've got a couple different spots where I fill up for gas because it's so much cheaper than it is on my coast out here. And as soon as I pulled up, uh, the last guy uh, that was pulling out uh, – was the last bit of gas out there went to another station in naples you know it's not likely to take a direct hit out there um but then i went to another gas station it was out of gas uh crazy crazy situation anyways with regard to uranium out here uh other than a potential sell the d point up let's see if we've got that in there not that i see uh, so I don't have any kind of a topping signal. I just have price traded with inside its new profile out here, Jam. And that's between the levels of 29.16 at support, which is also right about where that green oscillator and change line is. So that's a strong support level. And 29.97 happens to be resistance. A consolidation in the weekly time frame right now with 30.65 being resistance, a buy zone 27.16 to 28.03. You do have a top inside the monthly time frame chart, but its work to the downside is complete. I say it's complete because it had a bullish structure profile. Price got down there, tested it, rejected it for a couple of months out there. And now we just have a consolidation between 2589 and 3036 out there. So that's what I see when I take a look at uranium. Uh, I think that covered all of your requests. But if not, please let me know and we will get back to those. Nicholas writes in and Nicholas would like to take a look at Microsoft. And if we look at Microsoft out here, let's see what we've got. So Microsoft, what did it do up here? So it has been struggling for sure. Now, it is trading below profile support. It is trading below a red oscillator and change line. That makes this 40770 level. 40770 is a uh, TD9 count uh, uh, breakout area. Now, you do see, you know, successful bar number nine out here. But the high of the pattern was bar number six. That doesn't qualify in my work as a TD9 count top. Um, but, of course, we can see that prices move lower. The key level out here for Microsoft is at 407.70. Now, we didn't get exactly down to that today out there. We use that as a guideline, you know, kind of like Jack Sparrow. The guideline here being at 420.69. No, I'm sorry. Uh, geez, Stevie, read the right thing, would you? So we've got the breakout level at uh, 407.70. The low today, 408.17. So we'll take a couple other charts to try to understand this. Now, on a rally out here, Nicholas, where price would find resistance is about the 422 level. At 422, you'd have the bottom of its profile as well as uh, its oscillator and change line uh, two. If we take a look at Microsoft on a month weekly time frame, the weekly time frame shows us that 404.51 is pretty much a strong support level. With price being below profile, um, you know, that could be a level that it wants to target, could be a level that it wants to target. Um, no bottoming signal. I know you were asking about a TD9 count uh, pattern. And so today is going to become bar number six. So, you know, the earliest you can get a TD9 count signal, and it's got a bunch of work to do before that can happen out here, uh, is going to um, would be over the next couple of days. If you take a look at uh, today, uh, yesterday's bar out there, in order for <coughs> bar number nine to form, Price has to close below, just an example, 409.54. So when I say there's a lot of work to be done, in order for the daily time frame chart to generate a TD9 count bottom, I mean there's a lot of work to be done. And that would also mean that we would see a further downside move out there. And should that happen, price gets below 407.70, we'd be watching that 404.51 area. Now on a weekly, monthly time frame chart, was there a sell the D point pattern? And I would have to say, no, there, there, there was no sell the D point pattern on the monthly time frame. But price is trading inside its profile. 
And it's uh, cell levels at 430.82. Uh, center of the profile is at 382.27, the bottom all the way down to 321.59. So let's summarize. Well, no, before we summarize Microsoft, we still got a few seconds. Let's look at that 30-minute uh, time frame chart. What do we have here? I've got a wave number seven bottom. Now, this suggests that we should see a further rally. Let's look at the 65-minute time frame chart. And again, the oscillator change line is going to be for the 30-minute time frame out here. Uh, is there a bottom pattern? I tell you what, price is trading with inside its profile. It's bullish in structure. What this would tell us is a 65-minute close above 4.14.16 ought to take it to 4.18.16 out there. So no daily TD9 count bottom out here. Um, I hope that that helps you out. And I hope that your son, uh, son and uh, his family and his home survives uh, Milton. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Welcome back, folks. I'm pulling up these 60-minute time frame charts here for the equity future contracts. And the reason I'm doing that is if we take a look at the ES and NQ, you can see that they are in the process of forming bar number nine. So as we go into this close here, another five and a half minutes from now, you will have confirmed TD9 count tops for the 60-minute time frame 
for the ES and the NQ. Now that pattern may actually form by a 1 p.m. So somewhere between 12 noon and 1 p.m. out there, you'd look to the shorter term time frame charts to identify that turn, 30, 15, 10, something along those lines to give you that signal. We do not have those same patterns we take a look at the Dow or the Russell 2000. But I believe that who's really controlling the markets at this point in time is really going to be the ES and the NQ out there. If we take a look at the NQ's other chart time frames out here, so we'll get to those here momentarily. We'll put those up on our screen. What else do we see, if anything? So I see a 15-minute TD9 count top uh, that is in place out here. Now, that would get negated with a 15-minute close above 22.73.75. So maybe price is just going to get up and test that level. But I, I would be more focused truly on that 60-minute time frame chart. You know, 15 is pretty quick. Not that it doesn't give good signals or anything, because it does. But it's that 60-minute time frame chart for the ES and the NQ that I would be keeping my eye on out there. Um, lastly, let's take a quick peek what's going on with regard to the currency pairs out here. If we take a look at the euro, which represents 57.6% of the dollars, U.S. dollars weighting, it's still suggesting to me that price wants to go target 109. But I will say, yesterday was a little higher low than the prior. Today's a higher low as well. So we may get a few more days of, uh, of rally out here. In the case of the yen, it's got an A to B equal C to pattern to the upside. No bearish reversal candle as of yet. So price is likely to head higher. In the case of the Great British Pound, we're looking at daily time frames. Price is closed below. Uh, it's breakout level of support at 1.311. This is suggesting lower as well. But we can see that things have really calmed down. The bodies of these candles very narrow out here. So probably not a lot going on inside the U.S. dollar index. Remember, it is forming a new profile. The U.S. dollar's got resistance up at 102.45 and support at 101.67. Folks, won't be with you tomorrow, unfortunately. Although inside the Tigers, and I will try to post some charts uh, during the morning time frame. Everybody stay safe out there no matter where you're at. And we'll look forward to being back with you hopefully on Thursday. Take care. Be safe out there, folks.